Now, last month you might remember that I spoke about Brazil's aviation visionary, Alberto Santos Dumont. We in Australia have our own visionary, and if you own any pre-1994 $20 notes, you'll see that he's featured on one side. The centenary of his death was last year. Lawrence Hargraves, aeronautical pioneer and inventor. A little bit about him. He arrived as a 15-year-old from the mother country to Australia in 1865. He failed a matriculation exam. Not a bright kid, it seems. He apprenticed to the engineering workshops of the Australasian Steam Navigation Co, where he was to learn the skills later that important to him. An adventurous type, he undertook many early expeditions, particularly to Papua New Guinea, and then worked, became involved with the Sydney Observatory. His father did well in business, and Lawrence became a coal mine owner at Coalcliffe near Wollongong, and that uh, is important for later. By age 30, he was earning £1,000 a year, in today's money, about $873,000. <laughs> So he had the time and the money at the age of 30 to pursue his interests as an inventor. In 1884, he presented a paper to the Royal Society on the properties of wings. He had worked out the centre of lift on a curved aerofoil. So the Wright brothers were still a couple of decades to come. His early work on battle bikes box kites proved their stability and in 1894 he was lifted into the air in such a kite, well there's actually a, a, a number of kites because he stacked them vertically at Stanwell Park. Who have been to Stanwell Park near Wollongong? It's windy, it's a thousand foot cliff face ideal for launching kites. <laughs> Santos Dumont used these box kites in his early designs, but poor old Lawrence was stuck for a suitable engine and put a lot of effort into steam engines for flight, that was never going to work, and flapping wings even more so. However, uh, he was down an unproductive path and that's where he was stuck. Uh, he didn't seek patents for his early inventions just like Santos Dumont, they both believed that uh, they were advancing uh, mankind. Uh, to the day he died he felt he was an outsider in Sydney unrecognised for his work. He returned all his awards for his pioneering work when he saw how flying machines were being used, used in World War I. So he was a man of principle as well. There is so much more to this man and I encourage you to Google him and have a look, you will be amazed. <laughs>